We will begin in a sitting position, either on the floor or in a chair. You begin by paying attention to the support you have from the floor or chair. Feel the points of contact between your body and the floor or chair. Find a comfortable position in which you can sit up straight with your upper body balanced over your hips and shoulders. Comfortable but alert, hands on your lap or on your knees. Arms hanging down like heavy curtains, balanced and relaxed. Begin to think about the sensations and movements of your body, feeling your toes, feet, legs, hips, belly, chest, arms, hands, fingers, shoulders, neck, head. When you are ready, allow your eyes to close, thinking about your breath and the feeling of breathing, feeling each breath as it comes into your body and goes out, letting the breath be just as it is without trying to change it or control it in any way. Letting it flow easily and naturally with its own rhythm and pace, knowing that you are breathing perfectly well right now, nothing for you to do but breathe. When you are ready, allow your eyes to close, thinking about your breath and the feeling of breathing, feeling each breath as it comes into your body and goes out, letting the breath be just as it is without trying to change it or control it in any way letting it flow easily and naturally with its own rhythm and pace, knowing you are breathing perfectly well right now, nothing for you to do but breathe. Allow your body to be still, sitting with feelings of strength, with feelings of determination, with feelings of being complete and whole in this moment, with your sitting reflecting this feeling of being whole. As we're sitting, allow a picture to form in your mind, a picture of the most majestic and beautiful mountain that you know, or have seen, or can imagine. Letting the picture of the mountain slowly grow and become clear in your mind, and if this mountain is not a picture that you can see in your mind, letting the feeling of a mountain, its shape, its peaks high in the sky, its base planted in the ground, its sides reaching to the clouds. Begin to see in your mind how giant it is, how solid, how it cannot be moved, how beautiful, either from a far away or up close. Maybe your mountain is covered in snow, or has trees growing down to its base, or has sharp rocky sides. Maybe there are meadows or lakes or streams and waterfalls flowing down the mountain. Maybe the mountain has one peak, or many peaks. Look at the mountain in your mind, thinking about its different features. And when you are ready, try to bring this mountain into your own body as you sit here, so that your body and the mountain in your mind become one. So that as you sit here, you share with it how huge, how still, how majestic the mountain is. You become the mountain. As you sit, your head becomes a peak high in the sky, held up by the strength of your body, letting you look across the lands beyond. Your shoulders and arms are the sides of the mountain. Your hips and legs are the strong base, planted in the floor or chair as the mountain is planted in the earth. Experiencing a feeling of being elevated or rising above, this feeling beginning at your spine and hips. Each breath you take as you sit, you become ever more a breathing mountain, healthy and alive, not moving away from the stillness within you, completely yourself, beyond words and thought, centered, grounded, unmoving. As you sit, begin to think about the sun traveling across the sky, its light and shadows and colors changing each moment, the mountain staying still its surface full of life and activity, streams, melting snow, waterfalls, plants, animals. Sit as a mountain sits, seeing and feeling the night following the day and the day following the night. Feel the warmth of the sun, 
the coolness of the night sky. See the stars dotting the sky, the sun rising to bring a new day. Through all of this, the mountain just sits, experiencing changes each moment, always changing, but always being itself. The mountain stays still as seasons come and go, as the weather changes from moment to moment and day to day, always calm when facing change. In the summer, there is no snow on the mountain, not unless it falls on the highest peaks or in the deep corners far from the sun. In the fall, the leaves may fall, and the mountain might appear to wear a blanket of fiery colors. In the winter, the mountain may instead wear a sparkling blanket of snow and ice. In any season, the mountain may be covered by clouds or fog, or it may be hit by hail or freezing rain. People may come to see the mountain and talk about how beautiful it is, or say that it is not a good day to visit this mountain. It's too cloudy, too foggy, too rainy, too dark. None of this matters to the mountain, because it is always and has always been just itself. Clouds may come and clouds may go. People may like the mountain or they may not. The mountain's beauty and majesty are not at all changed when people see it or not, not by sunny days or cloudy days, through heat, through cold, in the day, or in the night, the mountain sits being itself. There are times when the mountain is visited by violent storms, hit with snow and rain and winds of high speed. Through all of this, the mountain sits. In the spring, the trees grow leaves, flowers bloom in the mountain's meadows and slopes, Birds begin to sing again. As the snow melts, the streams overflow with water. Through all of this, the mountain continues to sit, unmoved by the weather, by what is happening on its surface, by the affairs of the material world. The mountain remains as itself through all seasons, through changing weather, through the activities on its surface. In the same way, as we sit in our meditation, we can learn to experience the mountain, to have the same balance and stillness no matter what changes in our lives, over seconds, over hours, over years. In our lives and as we meditate, we often experience changes in the nature of body and mind and of the world around us. We have our own periods of light and darkness, times of activity and rest, moments that are colorful as well as those that are gray. We experience storms, both large and small. We experience violence in the world, as well as in our own minds and bodies. Through winds of high speed, through cold and rain, we face times of darkness and pain, as well as times of happiness and joy. Our physical appearance often changes, experiencing its own kind of weather. When we become the mountain as we meditate, we can connect with its balance and strength and use them in our own lives. We can use the energy of the mountain to support our own energy, so we can face each moment with mindfulness, calmness, and understanding. It can help us to see that our thoughts and feelings, our worries, our own storms, everything that happens to us is like the weather on the mountain. We may take things personal, but the strongest part of the mountain is its ability to be impersonal. The weather of our own lives is not something that should be ignored or denied. It should be experienced, respected, felt, known for what it is, and held in our minds. And as we hold it in this way, we can gain a sense of deeper silence, stillness, and wisdom. Mountains can teach us this and more if we will let them. If you find that you feel connected in a way to the strength and balance of the mountain as you sit in meditation, it may be helpful for you to use this from time to time when you meditate, to remind yourself of what it means to sit mindfully and determined, aware and still. In the time that remains, continue to hold the mountain within you, in silence, moment by moment, until you are ready to end the day's meditation.